3, a tangent and normal is drawn to the curve this one at x is equal to negative 4. Find the value of dy over dx at x is equal to negative 4. So that means that we have to differentiate. So here, y is equal to x times 1 minus 2x. So we know that we have to change this one to power. This one is power of half. So when we have this one, we have to use product rule. So here, so u dv over dx plus v du over dx. So in this case, the front one is u, this one is v. So anyone can be u and v because it is addition. So here, u is equal to x. So to use this one, so we need to know what is your u, what is your dv over dx, what is your v, and what is your du over dx. So u is if u is equal to x, then du over dx is equal to 1. Okay, so your v is equal to 1 minus 2x power of half. So dv over dx. So when we differentiate this one, so we take the power, we bring forward 1 minus 2x, then we minus the power with 1. So, firstly, when we have equation with bracket and power, we don't touch what is inside the bracket. So, we just do it this and then we differentiate what is inside the bracket afterward. So, we do the normal differentiation. Just later on, we differentiate. So, here we get half 1 minus 2x, half minus 1 is negative half. So, when we differentiate here, 1 will become 0, negative 2x become negative 2. So, this one and this one can be cut off because 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, here we have negative. So, negative 1 minus 2x power of negative half. So, we don't want the power to be negative at the end. So, this one, we bring it down. So, since there's no constant, so it is actually 1. So, this one would be 1 minus 2x power of half. So, from the product rule so here dy over dx is equal to so your u is x so dv over dx is negative 1 over so this one we see here power of half is actually set 1 minus 2x okay now we close back plus so here your v your v is set 1 minus 2x and then your so v so done 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 du over dx so du over dx is 1 which is equal to so here we want to combine right so the, the denominator must be equal so this one you have to multiply with 1 minus so it's here 1 minus set 1 minus 2x so this one is set 1 minus 2x divided by set 1 minus 2x so here x minus x multiply negative 1 you get negative x over set 1 minus 2x plus so we see here set and set this one is the same thing this one is 1 minus 2x this one is set 1, 1 minus 2x so here actually you get 1 minus 2x square divided 1 minus 2x right so you see here set and square can be cut off so here you have negative x plus so this one is 1. So 1 times negative 2x, you get minus 2x divided by set 1 minus 2x. So now you can combine because the denominator is equal. So negative x minus 2x, you get negative 3x plus 1 is plus 1 divided by set 1 minus 2x. So this one is d or dy over dx. So here, so you have your dy over dx. So when x is equal to negative 4, so dy over dx is so negative 3. So x we substitute with negative 4. So negative 4 here plus 1 divided by set 1 minus 2 negative 4. So here negative 3 times negative 4, you get 12 plus 1 divided by set. So 1, negative 2 times negative 4, you get positive 8, which is 
13 divided by 9 which is 13 over 3. So this one is 13 over 3. So B equation of the tangent. So here to get the equation of tangent, we know that the equation of tangent or equation of normal, it will be a straight line, right? So straight line, we know that it's supposed to be y is equal to mx plus c. But then there is another formula which is easier for you to substitute. So y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. So this one, you need to know what is your coordinate and then you need to know what is your m. So we know our m is 13 over 3. Because dy over dx is gradient of tangent. Okay. And then our point. So we need to know what is our coordinate x and y. So we have x is equal to negative 4. And we are given the equation where we can find what is our y. So here when x is equal to negative 4, y is equal to negative 4. So 1 minus 2 negative 4. Which is equal to negative 4. So 1 negative 2 times negative 4 is 8, which is negative 4 times 9, which is negative 4 times 3, which is equal to negative 12. So here, so this one you get x is negative 4 and this one is negative 12. So here, y minus y1 is equal to m, x minus x1. So equation of tangent, y minus y1 is negative 12 is equal to so m is equal to the gradient is 13 over 3 x minus x1 is equal to negative 4 y plus 12 is equal to so this one multiply with this one so this one is positive first so this one is x plus 4 so this one is y is equal to so here we are going to bring it to the right but before that 13 over 3 x and then 13 over 3 times 4 you get 52 over 3 and then 12 you bring it to the right you get negative 12. So here y is equal to 13 over 3 x and then 52 over 3 minus 12 you get 16 over 3. So this one would be positive 16 over 3. So this is the equation of tangent y is equal to 13 over 3x plus 16 over 3. So here equation of normal we need to find what is our gradient. So we know m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1 where m2 is equal to negative 1 divided by m1. So negative 1 so we know that our m1 which is our M1, we find it 13 over 3, right? Which is 13 over 3. So, here we get negative 3 over 13. So, now we can find the equation. So, Y minus Y1 is equal to negative 12. Is equal to M is negative 3 over 13. X minus X1 is equal to negative 4. So, Y plus 12 is equal to negative 3 over 13. X plus 4. So, here... We bring positive 12 to the right. So before that, we expand this one first. Negative 3 over 13x. So negative 3 over 13 times 4, we get negative 12 over 13. And then 12, we bring it to the right, it will become negative 12. So here we get negative 3 over 13x. So negative 12 over 13 minus 12, we get... So here we get negative 1... 6a over 13. So this is the equation of the normal.